Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you this GE traffic light module. Anyway, this thing is LED, and I got it a long, long time ago at a surplus store. My dad got it for me. Anyway, it's one of the only traffic light things that I have in my collection. I don't really collect traffic signals or lights. I collect more of the street lights, as you can tell on my channel here. But anyway, like I said, this is one of the only traffic light things I have. And it's pretty cool. I hang it on the wall and use it as a novelty light. But anyway, as you can tell, this is the orange arrow, and it is used, obviously, in a traffic signal to indicate slow down when turning, or, you know, just slow because, well, it's about to stop, you know, go red, or yield when turning, depending on the application, what the signs say in the, you know, intersection. Anyway, enough of that stuff. Let's get to the signal itself here. So as you can tell, it's obviously the yellow arrow, as I just explained. Um, we can see the cutout for where the LEDs shine through here. And as you can tell, it's a whole assembly. So this replaces the lens and the optical assembly for the incandescent bulb. So it's a whole thing. You just take out the lens and the incandescent assembly and you fit this in. I don't know if I already said, but this fits a 12 inch um, uh, traffic light. So there's also, I believe, 8 inch versions as well, but this is the 12 inch version. So obviously you have the front, it's all glass, or not glass, that'd be cool if it's glass, but it's, it's plastic. We have a nice gasket here. On the back we have some information about the light itself. We can see, I thought there was a date code on this, maybe there isn't, I'm just skipping over it. But um, it's 9 watts, so that's pretty cool. Um, and you can get the other information there as well. So, pretty interesting. There's um, patents down here. You can see the wires that come out, of course. All of them have a neutral, and then each signal itself has a different color. So when you're wiring it, you can tell what is going to, you know, what light without following the wire all the way back. So that's a pretty good idea. And obviously here it says top, but you can see the arrow in there, and that's where the arrow points, depending on, you know, where you need to point this arrow if you want it to go forward, if it's a complicated intersection, you know, turning or, or whatever. A lot of possibilities. So I obviously put uh, this uh, paper clip here so I can hang it. Well, now I just messed it up. So I can hang it up on the wall, use it as a novelty light. But we can get inside, and I suppose um, we can do that here. We'll take off uh, this um, gasket. Very nice rubber gasket. And we have all these clips on the side. Let's we'll see if I can get them off without a um, without a um, tool to help me do so. I don't know how well this will work. Okay, this one is doing. This one's coming off fine. I've taken this apart before, and it's uh, it's pretty tricky. So I think I'll take it apart and be right back. Okay, so I finally got the cover off. It took a little while, but uh, after getting all the clips, the problem is is that the clips, uh, every time you take one off, the other one wants to clip back in place. But uh, I got them all out, not a problem. So this is um, the same refractor lens that would be used on the non-aero version as well. But we'll set that aside. We have a gasket here for water, of course. And we have this black arrow. And what this is used for is when it sits in here, and the reason it's there is so that you can't see the lights from a different angle, you know, only when you see it straight on. So to help with um, only the intended person seeing it and not, you know, other drivers. Anyway, inside we have the LEDs themselves. In the shape of the arrow, obviously, and the electronics as well that run the show. I believe everything that is just going on here is just um, ballasting equipment. There's no real logic about turning it on and off. That's all done in separate equipment. You can see a little fuse there, it looks like. Fuse 1. Fuse 2 looks like to be a uh, resistor there. Maybe that blows after fuse 1. I don't know. Anyway, 
you can see these two studs here and those are connected to the wires here on the back so you don't want to touch those or anything obviously when this thing is turned on but pretty cool let's see top piggy board I don't really know what that is maybe somebody who is into um, traffic signals can uh, tell us more about that but um, anyway that's the um, inner workings of the arrow itself and let's go ahead and turn it on while we have it open so we can see exactly how bright this thing is now, obviously it needs to be bright as you can see here it is very very intense and I mean you need to see this when you're driving obviously so it has to be very very bright Obviously from an angle here, it's not very bright, but the LEDs have good optics in them to really, really catch your eye and inform you to slow down. So very cool. We can see here, yeah, it lights up a bit. Uh, it's very bright in this room as well. But um, that's that. If we put the assembly here over it, if it'll fit in place for us, there we go. You can see, you know, we can see it straight on, but if you see it from another angle, you don't see it so well. You know, it's, it's harder to see the light. So it just helps them um, direct it in one direction. Uh, so again, other vehicles don't see it and just, you know, the intended um, vehicles see it. So there is that. And of course we have this ring here which goes around the outside for a watertight seal. And then when we put this back on, you can see how well it diffuses. We have a notch here, and that lines up over here. So just take that and uh, press it on in. And let me see. I think it's having a hard time because we're sealing it with that gasket. Yes, there. So that gasket is a pretty tight seal anyway. But you can see here now with the refractor, it really makes the arrow a lot wider in that area as well. And if we didn't have the black um, cutout inside, you would definitely be able to see it from all different angles. So very, very cool. Now obviously this wouldn't be on all the time. It'd probably be flashing or something, uh, flashing or, you know, only on for, you know, a small amount of time until the red arrow comes on. But I've used this thing as a novelty light and hasn't burned out yet, obviously. They need longevity with these things. It's very important that they work. So, um, I suppose we can finish off by just looking at it with the lights off. Very, very cool novelty item, and very useful, obviously, they're still used today. Anyway, I really do hope you enjoyed this video, and also please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.